This next rhythm is on page 52 of the Cardiac Dysrhythmia Interpretation Workbook, uh, and it is a sinus tachycardia. And like a sinus bradyhy, the only difference really between a sinus tach and a normal sinus rhythm is the fact that the heart rate is uh, 100 or greater. So that's the uh, distinction um, there. And um, let me just underline that right here. So that's the distinction. So it's 100 or greater. And uh, important to keep in mind that in adults, in resting adults, Rates higher than 160 are rarely sinus in origin. So in other words, if you respond to someone who's tachycardic, let's say they're sitting on the sofa, they've not been exercising, exerting themselves in any way, and they have a, uh, a heart rate greater than 160 uh, and they're an adult, it's very unlikely that you're dealing with a sinus tachycardia. You're probably dealing with some other kind of arrhythmia like a supraventricular tachycardia. So in a sinus tach, the P waves are normal. Uh, the PR interval is... Um, uh, normal QRS is usually narrow, the ratio is one to one, and the rhythm is regular. Now clinically, when it comes to uh, sinus tachycardia, um, how they present clinically will depend on the underlying disease or trauma that, that the patient is, is experiencing. Because sinus tachycardia is not a rhythm um, that we treat per se, it's really uh, a rhythm that is a, ref a symptom of some underlying problem. So it's typically compensatory. In other words, you know, the patient's in a sinus tachycardia because they're in pain or because they're hypovolemic and uh, they have a reflex tachycardia or a compensatory tachycardia in response to that drop in blood volume, or they're dehydrated, which is another form of volume depletion, or perhaps they're febrile. And when you're febrile, that increases your metabolic rate and uh, also increases your heart rate. So sinus tachycardia is not a dysrhythmia that's treated per se. We treat the underlying cause. We have to search for the underlying cause and treat that. And if we're talking about hypovolemia as the underlying cause, then the treatment, of course, would be um, intravenous fluid replacement. And uh, when you increase the fluid volume, the heart rate comes down. So it, the compensation is no longer required. 